ਸਵਾਗਤ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਜੀ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰ ਫਿਰ ਆਪ ਸਭ ਦਾ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਸੈਕਿੰਡ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਸ ਹੈਲਥ ਸੈਕਿੰਡ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੇਰਾ ਸਾਥ ਦੇਣਗੇ ਐਲਨ ਗਲੈਸਰ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕਿ ਇੱਕ ਫਾਰਮਾਸਿਸਟਨ ਅਤੇ ਯੂਬੀਸੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਪੜਾਇਆ ਵੀ ਕਰਦੇ ਨੇ ਅੱਜ ਦਾ ਸਾਡਾ ਵਿਸ਼ਾ ਰਹੇਗਾ ਕਿ ਜੋ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਐਕਸਪੀਰੀਅੰਸ ਹੈ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਹਿਸਾਬ ਨਾਲ ਆਪਣੇ ਹਾਰਟ ਨੂੰ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਟਰੋਂਗ ਰੱਖ ਸਕਨੇ ਆ ਦਿਲ ਦੀਆਂ ਬਿਮਾਰੀਆਂ ਵੱਧਦੀਆਂ ਜਾ ਰਹੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਦਿਲ ਤੇ ਟੈਨਸ਼ਨ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਉਹ ਵੱਧਦੀ ਜਾ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਕਾਰਨ ਅਸੀਂ ਦੇਖ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਜੇਕਰ ਦਿਲ ਸਟਰੋਂਗ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਏਗਾ ਤਾਂ ਹੋਰ ਸਮੱਸਿਆਵਾਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੀਆਂ ਜੀਵਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਆ ਜਾਂਦੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਸੋ ਅੱਜ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਲਵਾਂਗੇ ਐਲਨ ਗਲੈਸਰ ਤੋਂ ਕਿ ਕਿਸ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਨਾਲ ਅਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਹਾਰਟ ਨੂੰ ਸਟਰੋਂਗ ਰੱਖ ਸਕਨੇ ਆ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਹਰਪ੍ਰੀਤ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਐਲਨ ਇਟਸ ਬੀਨ 4 ਡੈਕੇਡ ਸਿੰਸ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਬੀਨ ਅ ਫਾਰਮਾਸਿਸਟ ਯੂ ਮੀਟ ਥਾਊਜ਼ੈਂਡਸ ਆਫ ਪੀਪਲ ਇਨ ਯੋਰ ਕੈਰੀਅਰ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਮੈਟ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ ਗੋ ਟੂ ਯੂਬੀਸੀ ਆਲਸੋ ਟੂ ਟੀਚ ਓਵਰ ਦ ਇਅਰਸ ਵੀ ਫਾਈਂਡ ਦੈਟ our hearts are not getting stronger they're getting weaker and weaker what is your observation about it why is it happening so it's a good question i repeat we know as we age uh certain things happen to people one they seem to have high blood pressure mm-hmm. uh, two they uh, have something called heart disease where the arteries you know get clogged up so we do have drugs that help us right and some of the problems with those drugs such as uh people may have anything with a tenolol or you know metoprolol things with an ol in them mm-hmm. that class of medication helps control your heart uh in the terms of how fast it beats sometimes it beats too fast we have to control that mm-hmm. uh of course your heart, blood pressure may go up which we have to control that and we use that class of drugs to help but what's the consequence so there is a problem with our drugs and the nutrients that we need so when you take that class or uh, of drug it depletes an enzyme called coq10 which okay. is an essential energy producing enzyme inside every cell of our body okay so some people not all start to feel more tired and fatigued mm-hmm. uh when they take this kind of drug right uh another thing is of course the doctor will check your cholesterol and when the doctor thinks that your cholesterol is above a particular level they will suggest you take a statin drug well that class of statin drug which is supposed to help reduce the chance of clogging up your arteries mm-hmm. will also make you feel tired and fatigued um and some people are on both of those drugs right and finally there's drugs that uh lower blood pressure uh and make you get rid of excess fluid such as hydrochlorothiazide which is another very commonly prescribed drug mm-hmm. uh it also can deplete this energy molecule okay. that every cell of our body needs mm-hmm. so when people start taking these medications over th- maybe not at first but over time they're going to feel tired and fatigued right so what's the number one cause of say increasing blood pressure what's the number one cause of potentially increasing your cholesterol. Well, it's what we put in our mouth. Right. If you notice, uh the biggest thing we can do that to help our blood pressure, if you have high blood pressure, is actually reduce weight. Mm-hmm. By reducing weight as little as, you know, 5 or 10 pounds, we can have a, a significant drop mm-hmm. in your blood pressure, right. possibly even to a safe zone so you can stop some of your medicine. Right. So and the worst thing that we eat in terms of what puts on the pounds quickest mm-hmm. is the carbohydrates right may mention this so right. you know anything made with flour mm-hmm. sugar starch that will add weight to our bodies especially if we're not moving right especially as we age you don't move as much you mm-hmm. you you're sitting and watching tv or doing things that doesn't require you to move you can put the weight on well the right. minute you do that that can increase your blood pressure mm-hmm. whereas reducing it again how to help your body without pills reduce your weight if you have high blood pressure right mm-hmm. now if that doesn't work and you're a thin person you still got high blood pressure yes you need these medications right. and they'll make you tired so what is uh But, another solution you would replace the damaged uh or the the nutrient that's missing now which is enzyme Q10 right uh ubiquinone or ubiquinol that's the the chemical names you'll see on the product mm-hmm. and what i've also brought here is this is a cardio boost okay. this has enzyme coq10 in it okay and another natural supplement called pqq okay and the reason i picked this particular one mm-hmm. and to me it's unique in that it has one the enzyme q10 which we need to make more energy right. so that when you take you know one or two of these a day all of a sudden your fatigue feeling goes will, down goes away because okay. again the drugs block this enzyme we need more of it in our body and you can right. take it by mouth 
That's interesting what you have said because uh, what we are consuming is uh, depleting our energy or the medications what we are having also deplete our energy. But many times we find people who are not on uh, drugs, they also feel fatigue, uh, their heart also is not functioning at a proper level. So is it, uh, you know, can supplements be taken by those people also or it's only for those who only consume drugs? No. So as we age, yeah. the energy producing cells in our body mm -hmm. start to produce energy like you're a 60 year old mm -hmm. or 70 year old. Right. And it, it's much less energy. Mm -hmm. This molecule is really essential to making energy in every cell of our body. Right. So you, yes, you can feel less tired and fatigue when you take it. Now the bonus is this, every cell has literally sometimes hundreds of these energy generating cells. They're right. called mitochondria. Anyway, they're tiny and they fit inside our cells. Mm -hmm. What PQQ does, that's this particular supplement, is tell the body, it's the only one that I know of besides a, a drug called metformin, which will do it, it's mm -hmm. on prescription. This is a natural substance that tells our cells right. to make more energy producing cells. Okay. So it's like, uh, if you need more electricity, you add more generators. Right. Guess what? If you need more energy in your body, mm -hmm. we'll make new chemical energy right. cells inside the cell. Mm -hmm. So you feel less tired and fatigued. Mm -hmm. That's the unique part of this. And that can happen especially as we age. Okay. Because the body just isn't producing enough energy. It could be one of the reasons you feel tired and fatigued and right. can't focus your mind because there's lots of energy producing cells in our mm -hmm. brain cells and of course in our heart cells. Right. And we need those to work at the maximum. Mm -hmm. Also, we hear that, uh, you know, fish is good for your heart. Uh, omega, uh, uh, you should have an omega rich diet. So uh, what is good for the health? What should be more consumed, which is beneficial for your heart? Okay, so beneficial for the heart is uh, the, the first thing is I would class it fresh uh, vegetables. Okay. Okay. Eating the freshest food you can mm -hmm. would give your body the maximum amount of antioxidants. Right. Okay. Uh, that's the number one thing. Of course, eating good fish, again, you want a high omega, you know, three and six. Right. So where do we get that from? We get that from good oils, like okay. plant-based oils, mm -hmm. omega three, six, nine. There's a whole slew of products that help our body and also reduce inflammation. Because mm -hmm. the biggest thing as we age is swelling and inflammation, right. right? So if we can reduce inflammation, we're gonna help every muscle in our body, not only the heart, but every muscle and, right. and joint in our body. Mm -hmm. And the greatest way to do that is eating fresh fruits and vegetables. Right, and of course, as you said, supplements uh, like uh, these, which uh, boost you, which have those enzymes and are natural, not synthetic, yeah. they'll help you make your heart strong. You can make your, it's every muscle. Right of the body can get stronger, but the heart has the most little energy producing cells, mm -hmm. that's what this gives you. Okay. Helps those energy producing cells right. work better. Mm -hmm. So it's just like if, if your lights in your house brown out, not enough electricity. Mm. Uh, so you it, add on to the electricity by generator or something. That's right. Mm -hmm. So here you've got the supplement to give right. your every cell more energy to produce. Great. Thank you very much for this perspective. Thank you. Thank you. आज जो ਅਸੀਂ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਕੀਤੀ ਉਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਐਲਨ ਗਲੈਸਰ ਨੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਕਿ ਹਾਰਟ ਨੂੰ ਦਿਲ ਨੂੰ ਮਜ਼ਬੂਤ ਕਰਨ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਕੀ ਕੁਝ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਹੈ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਤਾਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਕੀ ਕਾਰਨ ਹਨ ਕਿ ਹਾਰਟ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਪੂਰਾ ਸਟਰੋਂਗ ਨਹੀਂ ਰਹਿੰਦਾ ਇੱਕ ਤਾਂ ਏਜ ਨਾਲ ਆਫ ਕੋਰਸ ਇਹ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੀ ਪਰ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਇਲਾਵਾ ਜੋ ਸਾਡਾ ਖਾਣ ਪੀਣ ਹੈ ਉਸ ਦਾ ਬੜਾ ਅਸਰ ਪੈਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਐਂਡ ਥਰਡਲੀ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਡਰੱਗਸ ਲੈਨੇ ਆ ਉਹ ਡਰੱਗਸ ਦੇ ਕਾਰਨ ਸਾਡੇ ਹਾਰਟ ਦੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਸ਼ਮਤਾ ਪੂਰੀ ਪ੍ਰੋਪਰ ਫੰਕਸ਼ਨਿੰਗ ਉਹ ਘਟ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਫਰੈਸ਼ ਵੈਜੀਟੇਬਲਸ ਫਿਸ਼ ਆਇਲ ਜਾਂ ਫਿਰ ਹੋਰ ਉਹ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਜਿਹਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਕਿ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਹਾਰਟ ਨੂੰ ਓਮੇਗਾਸ ਅ ਰਿਚ ਡਾਈਟ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਮਿਲਦੀ ਹੈ ਉਸ ਨਾਲੋਂ ਬੈਟਰ ਹੋ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਪਰ ਇਸ ਨੂੰ ਸਬਸਟੀਟਿਊਟ ਕਰਨ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਅੱਜ ਮਾਰਕੀਟ ਵਿੱਚ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੇ ਸਪਲੀਮੈਂਟਸ ਵੀ ਅਵੇਲੇਬਲ ਅਵੇਲੇਬਲ ਨੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਲੈ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਮਾਰਕਸ ਫਾਰਮੇਸੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਕਿ 120th ਅਤੇ 80th ਸਟ੍ਰੀਟ ਤੇ ਹੈ ਉੱਥੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਐਲਨ ਗਲੈਸਰ ਨੂੰ ਮਿਲ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਫ੍ਰੀ ਕੰਸਲਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਕੋਲ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਲੈ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ